Hi, Raulito. Hi, Big Raul. Hi, Little Raul. Hi, you did a good job, Papa. You did a good job with the ultrasound. Yeah. Hey, Raulito. We're done. Well, now we just have to make an appointment for the urologist. Ooh, look. We got a vending machine full of toys. This art right here is pretty cool. Popcorn. We love popcorn at home. Name tag and put it on the wall. Sure. 918. Thank you. So name tag too. I just try to get out of now. Uh, um, no? Light with a coffee with six creams inside. More coffee with six creams inside? One more thing. In, instead of the ham in the egg white delight, make it a sausage. Okay. okay. Thank you. I get my, Raul knows my coffee already. The new Roscoe. On, wait, where are we on? Washington and La Brea. Washington and La Brea. We're heading to the west side because the west side is the best side. Okay. <laughs> so it's like we down here. Down Washington. I like the street, Washington. You want to say something, though? Well, you, YouTube doesn't really know you that well. I don't have much to say. I think, I, really have, I think you have a lot to say. It's a lot to say. Oh, I got Yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm not a fan. Anyways, this place is... Uh, yeah, we ju we just been talking about how... How the west side is not the same anymore. Hey, they used to have like old cars here. Look, they took them out. They used to have old Mustangs here, but I don't know what happened. They're gone. And just talk about all the things that you see. I think my dad would... Can you imagine my dad, my dad just going down all the streets and being like... This and that. This is not what it was anymore. This is not what it is. Wait, what did I say? What it used to be anymore. <laughs> I dye my hair. So when I dye my hair, so I'm gonna dye. Her, you guys see her? Whoever sees her, she actually. I'm has gonna dye Rose Barba. That's your fault. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the building. That's on. Yeah. Um, that's on. Well, I don't know. Right, but. <laughs> Anyways, we grew up, we grew up around here, and so we just, we get really sad when we start seeing, like, really big buildings, because that means that, like, a lot more people are coming, and it's just not what it used to be anymore. It's developing, it's developing. It is, I mean, it's cool, but it's not, it's like when I go, it's like, like, this place, they gotta do something with this. Okay, sorry, guys. So now we're going to Culver City. So now yeah, we're going to Culver City. Yeah, this is But it's like when I go back home to Vallejo, and I see how developed it is and how there's so many um hotels and there's yeah but you know i want to go back home and i want to i still want to see like my hometown where i grew up but obviously the people that live there probably want you know there, there's a home depot there's like what else there's a bunch of starbucks pink berries it's not what it is this is still pretty much the same here, but that, where, uh, that's, that's new. Apple, that's new one of the tech companies is coming. Yeah. They're right across yeah. the street from the co-op. Honey, so many more people are going to come, and it's going to get way more expensive. And we're just going to be forced out of here now. Or we can make more money. Or, okay. Yeah, because I have to get back to work. I don't know. We're all saying that Amazon's coming over here. <clears throat> well, it's one of the, I'm not saying it's one of the tech Well, it's one of the tech companies. Well, I don't know, but that's why they're building this, and that's why they have that. Oh, my right. God. Right, like, in our backyards. Right here. Literally. Oh, no. Whoa. This is cool. I'm a little sad. And right here used to be like buildings, 
and it was all like beat up but there was a lot of murals here i took pictures and now it's all like developed and nice they took this building down and building. yes it's yeah, yeah they took this building <gasps> you know no 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 it wasn't here, here. Was there it, was building, no i think it was like a car dealership like oh, an indoor car dealership. Car, yeah all right let's this make a bet right that was just a building i remember exactly what it was. yeah so for people that grew up here in Culver City, I don't know, whoever's watching this. Um, yeah, it's pretty sad now. And this is the Sony. Here that was just the Sony, off. this is part of the Sony Studios, right? Sony yeah, Sony Picture Entertainment. Um, there's that building there. I don't know, what what is this building? I know there's a Trader Joe's in there, but what is it? It's a parking, parking lot. lot. Oh, it's just a parking lot. <laughs> and then that one right what over there. This it says park <laughs> on the building. Right here. Park the bread. Um, park the bread. It's park. And Washington. what is that going to be? That black one over there. Those are offices. I thought it was going to be more parking. Yeah, it's a really nice parking structure. It is a very nice parking structure. It's only for Teslas. Right. It's a huge right. So we can't go in there. It's a huge outlet. For That's still part of the Sony Studios. Yeah. There. So this is it. This is the um, I don't know. Man, it sucks. It's great, but it sucks. It's great for people that make money. And, you know, they want to come over here. But it's not great because there's more traffic. It used to be pretty dead down here in Culver City. Yeah. Okay, so this building right here, um, the the Culver Hotel, it's pretty famous for what? For being really scary. Right, 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 right. right, right. It's like haunted. Right? I don't know. I have to. I snuck into it one time. You see the little fire? Fire, really? Uh, How did you do that? Right well, it used to be it's pretty dead, a, so I'm pretty sure. <gasps> oh. Yes, and he says he doesn't have anything to talk about. I think we can talk about that. Okay, so tell us that I'm story. I'm not just answering your questions. I'm no, not well, well, tell us. I, I want to know. You never... Story. You're, I'm just narrating with you on my experiences. Okay, well, you've never told me. Oh, hey, right here. Now what they the put, hell? Now they put, like, oh, my there. gosh. I've never even seen that. Yep, that's <gasps> All right. Well, I haven't gone out in like, I don't know, five years since I've had the babies. I don't go anywhere. So tell us the story about the sneaking into the right culvert. Okay. Stair. All you do is, all you had to do is go up and there was okay, a well, tell us. thing. They locked it off, but they go right into the hotel room back, back then. Okay. Well, you never told me that. So may I know? Never. We never okay. Never can you tell us the story? I don't think we want to know the story. <laughs> tell us the story. It's okay. What? It was what? There was a bunch of girls. What? <laughs> it wasn't a bunch. How how there was, bad there was can a it mix be? Of people there. Okay, like, okay. It was cool. They were like sneaking into the. So we stuck. Was it at. a dare? No, it was just no. something that we couldn't go. How old were you? Okay, first of all, here. how old were you? I uh, had to be a teenager. No, teenager. Okay, you have a teenager. Were you were you out of high school? Uh, I think I was a bit too. So it was a long time ago. So I 1920? Yeah, no, no, I was 17. I, I was getting out, so I was what? I was like 12, less than 16. He was a bad so kid. Maybe I was like 13, 14. What? That little? Yeah, okay. Maybe it wasn't. I just remember sneaking in. I remember going up, fire escape, getting okay. into the room, and getting people just hanging out. So. Oh, and that's just how it was, but nobody, nobody paid for the room or what? I don't know. I don't remember. I think he's. I think he's leaving off. I think he's leaving off uh, like a big old chunk of. Uh, that, I think that's when they started story. actually. Rent, like I don't know. We gotta look at when they started allowing uh, rooms to be rented or to be whatever. Oh, because like, it was haunted. No, I don't know. It was closed for a long time. Oh, it's really bad. I don't know. It's honestly it's pretty. It's pretty freaky. It's a pretty freaky old time. It was a. Creepy or freaky? Like freaky as in like freaky freaky girls or, or creepy as in no. ghosts? Because those are two different words. It just words. felt cold. Like there was no... Yeah, so it was creepy. Like a creepy vibe. I can say soulless because it, it, it was like haunted. Obviously, it was like soulless. Right? Yeah. Okay, so... It, it felt, felt haunted. Cold. Like it, it felt cold. Like it was very haunted. So cold. Like, Even there, we, when we got drinks and everything. Oh, I didn't even know that story. You didn't even tell me that story. Well, there's a lot. 
And he said that um, he didn't have much to say, but look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. Okay, oh. so the Coburn Hotel. Okay, let's check it out. So oh, another that's, opening. That's another opening. I want to know when it actually is next for Mr. Coburn Hotel Hotel. Well, let me tell you guys, we are... This is the, uh, we're on Overland. So um, that, that actually opened okay. September 4th. Big old party, 2004. They're going to have a big party there because it's going to be a 100 year anniversary. When? 2001. They're going to have to be, have a big party in four years. Oh, because September, it's like, yeah, it'll be, yeah, it'll be a year, it'll 100? Be 100 years, it'll be 100 years old. Oh, Miranda's getting ready for that. Miranda will be able to yeah. And then maybe you can tell. It was originally named Hotel Hunt. Hotel Hunt. That was the original name. Okay, so it's gonna be. Uh, I hope my phone doesn't fall out of the window. So it's gonna be. Um, it, it'll that hotel is uh, gonna be a hundred years old. Are Harry Culver. He's talking over me. So when? So it opened nineteen twenty. It opened in nineteen twenty. So my dad, my dad knows. Knows of that. My stepfather. Okay, so maybe I was. It says in nineteen eighties, it was uh, fell into this uh, repair. Board up for, for a time and at a risk of de demolition. In the nineteen nineties, the hotel was partially restored and reopened. Yeah, so I was nineteen eighty through the nineties, yeah. So uh, the hotel was partially restored, whatever. Joining the National Register of Historic Places in nineteen ninety seven. Oh, modern combat truly began after a uh, a, a family the can pronounce it bad. I bought the Ailey property in 2007. So yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 1990s. It was partially reopened, so that's why I remember climbing into it because I don't think the hotel was open. It was, that's why it was so freaky when I remember going in there. And I remember looking down a hallway and it just felt like, And it was like a long... You know what, I, did, I honestly, I didn't really, I don't, didn't really want to be there anymore because I was kind of freaked out. Yeah. But I didn't say anything. I just said yeah. probably that we had to leave or something. I would have been down. Think. Since 2007, the hotel's entire plumbing like and electrical systems have been upgraded. When it was like creepy stuff, have done all the 140 been. handmade windows in the guest rooms have been replaced. The public spaces have been entirely re imaged, all the while maintaining the property's agricultural integrity. Right. Okay, good. So that was a uh, whole oh, hotel I don't think and all, tear all it down. live jazz special events. I don't, yeah, think, yeah, that's what I I don't think I don't think they'll ever tear it down. No, no it's, it, a it's, it's a landmark. Well, yeah. It's a historic landmark now. I mean, so now the bottom it. floor is like um, it's you go a bar, restaurant, a restaurant and all that. It's we really nice. You can go nice. there and watch a movie. Oh, across. can you take me? No, not there. I'm sorry. There's a, there's a, there's figures, right? Oh. <laughs> you can watch a movie because there's a movie theater yeah. there. That movie theater there has been there for a long time. I, I used to go there when I was a kid. Anyways, all of it. Yeah, hopefully it's a it's a national landmark now, so it won't tear down. Hopefully, never. Um, it's a nice hotel, but it's a haunted one. Um, first hand, first hand, um, first hand uh, um, experience. Excuse, sorry, he experienced it first hand. How creepy it is. Okay, and so now all these buildings are coming up. Bunch of those are coming up all over where we live. Oh, is that Michael? Mike. <laughs> I had him walking through the bike path. He's a really nice man with his wife Bonnie. And they just they really care about about the city and about this neighborhood here. That they they he's you just find him picking up trash and stuff. That's gonna be it. And if he sees any dump furniture or anything, he'll Oh yeah, he'll call he'll call them. Call the, they come pick it up like yeah. early the next day, yeah. so he's always like... Yeah, he's... That's good. And you know, yeah. I, li I like that about... more people in there, they're very prepared. How about we start caring? Well, he does his job so well that... <laughs> Maybe he does it for all of us, or what? He does it for everyone. That's good. Cool. 
Oh, we, we need more people like him. We do. But, but this will be coming bad. down. I know. It's coming down. I don't